better ask them today because I won't be able to answer them next week. <laughs> but uh, oh, also, uh, next Monday is a uh, uh, Buddhist day, so there won't be any class. And I don't think the, uh, there'll be a uh, class on Tuesday. And the reason in Bangkok next week, ASEAN will have a conference with leaders of different countries coming from all over Southeast Asia. And so uh, I think all the schools in, in Bangkok are closed. So my understanding is, and I'll try, I'll try to resolve it by the end of the hours, but uh, my understanding is that there's no class here on Tuesday either in the, in the temple because of the ASEAN Summit Conference. Remember? Summit, the top, the leaders, the leaders of various the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, ASEAN, the homonym. Oh no, I'm sorry, not a homonym. That's a different, different name. It's an acronym. Association of South East Asian Nations, ASEAN Conference. And they'll have, I think it's 17,000 police guarding the streets. 17,000. 17,000 police will be guarding the streets of Bangkok to protect the safety of the ASEAN conference. It's hard to believe that they the, the need 17,000 police, but I, I guess they figure they do. <coughs> so no class Monday and maybe no class Tuesday. I'll try to find out if somebody, if uh, Surapad or somebody shows up who knows the rules about next week, I'll try to find out before the end of class. Well, we'll start with a, a, some vocabulary from the newspaper. RCEP stutters on Indian fears. Stutters on Indian fears. What does it mean to stutter? Stutter. S-T-U-T-T-E-R. Do people in Thailand stutter? Stutter. A stutter. To stutter is a speech uh, problem. Did you go? Did you go to the movies yesterday? What? It, it's the it's being caught on the first part of a word where for some speech problem you cannot speak smoothly. Did, 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 did you go to the uh, class yesterday? Whoa, 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 whoa. What happened? <laughs> so it's a stutter. And a person with that problem is a stutter, a stutterer, a stutterer. He has a stuttering problem. He stutters. I don't know. I haven't heard anybody, I guess it exists here, but I've never heard it in Thailand. But you'll hear it. Uh, uh, in America from time to time, all the sudden people just have <laughs> <laughs> Now, hunt for scam suspects. Hunt for scam suspects. What is a scam? Very common word these days. Scam. A scam. It happens a lot now. 
because of the computer, telephone, a scam is a usually a financial trick. If you invest, if you give me ten thousand baht today, I guarantee in six months I will give you back fifty thousand baht. Oh, really? Yes, I'll be making investments throughout the world. I have contacts on all the major financial cities around the world. And with your money and the other investors, of which there are very many, not just you, I will be able to gain a return within six months of five times what you give me today. And here is my phone number and my email address. So that if you have any questions, please contact me at once. But I will be in touch with you shortly with the, the initial results of your investment. Oh, wow. That sounds great. I give you 10,000 baht, and in three months or four months, 50,000 baht right back? Wow. Here's 10,000 baht. Takes the 10,000 baht. Bye-bye. <laughs> A scam. It, it happens often. And, it, and, and it's not usually just 10,000 baht, it's more like 10 million baht. We're talking about a 10 million, a $400 million baht uh, scam. So it, it, it's, it's cheating people out of money by a trick. Oh, I call you up or I somehow say, Could you, would you like to uh, contribute or donate or give money and we have promised that you'll get so much money back. And people do it. Yeah. Oh, over here. Oh, sure, here. 400 million baht they got. That's <laughs> unbelievable. But it happens all over the world. And it's you constantly, constantly contact people, contact, 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 to try to find the one, or the two, or the three that are going to give you the money. You get, we get, you get phone calls like this a lot. I don't know about Thailand, but I know in America, there'll be people on the phone asking if you want to uh, invest in this or invest in that one. You don't know who you're talking to. On a telephone, somebody calls you. These are known as scams. It happens a lot around the world. Subit calls for Thailand to embrace 5G facts or lag behind rivals. What does it mean to embrace? Embrace. To, to grab a hold of, to be enthusiastic about giving a hug, let's say. That they're talking about embracing some uh, type of, uh, of technology. To embrace it means to accept it enthusiastically and take it in, to welcome it, embrace. Mainlanders in Hong Kong fret for future. Mainlanders, people from mainland China living in Hong Kong, fret for future. What does it mean to fret? Fret. F-R-E-T. So if you were a mainlander living in Hong Kong today, right now, and all the problems that are going on in Hong Kong with the uh, riots and protests and what have you, 
could be a very scary place. So the mainland Chinese people who are living in Hong Kong, and believe me, there's a million or more in Hong Kong, fret for future. They are worried and concerned about their future because they, the people in Hong Kong are not happy with mainland China and obviously not with the people from mainland China. So the people fret about their future, worry about their future. To elaborate is, first of all, if 
if you make a statement about something, uh, there will be, let's see, I'm trying to think, let, there will be a show at the theater tomorrow at 9 o'clock. Will you be able to go? And somebody would say, well, what, what's it all about? Could you please elaborate? Could you make a bigger explanation about something? Could you explain it in much more detail? Elaborate. Elaborate. Give more information. Give more detail about a certain situation. So I say, would you like to go to the theater? There's a show there tomorrow at 9 o'clock. Well, how will we get to the theater? Well, I'll pick you up at 8 o'clock and we'll drive to the theater. And then, what's the name of the movie? Oh, well, the name of the movie is uh, The Joker. It's, it's a, a, a drama, a very popular movie right now. So to elaborate is to take the little piece of information in the beginning, go to the movie at 9 o'clock, and then make it bigger and bigger and bigger. What time? How am I going to get there? What's the name of the movie? Where's the, where's the theater? All that kind of stuff. And so he told me we would go to the movie, and then he elaborated on the situation. Elaborate. Please elaborate. Please make a bigger explanation. Yeah. Self indulgent. Does anybody have an idea? Well, obviously it's got something to do with you or me, the self. Myself. Right. In, in a simple explanation, it's taking care of number one. What does that mean? Taking care, my main goal in life is to take care of number one. What does that mean? My main goal in life is to take care of number one. Well, first of all, who would be number one? No. You. You. <laughs> you. And you. Taking care of number one is looking out for yourself first, among everything. To be self-indulgent is to indulge yourself. In other words, you are the most important person in the world. And I take care of I. Self-indulgent. He's going on a cruise to the Caribbean or to the Pacific. He's, then he's coming back and he's going to uh, go to uh, uh, Penang for a week of vacation. And then he's going over to America for another month and a half vacation. He is so self-indulgent. Everything be me, me. Self-indulgent. Looking out for number one, first and foremost. Self-indulgent. Not contributing to you. Giving back to me everything. Very self-indulgent individual, looking out for himself at all times. So that's elaborate, self-indulgent. Any other questions about that? Uh, about the 
Don't get mad. Don't get mad. Yeah, M-A-D. M-A-D. Don't get mad or, or furious. Furious. Oh, don't get upset. Don't get upset. Yeah, a common thing would be, uh, oh, don't, oh, you just, if you're worried about something, uh, like somebody, uh, you know, you're worried about, uh, some problem or something, people would say to you, oh, no, it's not that important. Don't get upset. Take your, relax. Don't get upset. Don't, it's not so much don't get furious. It's more a case of don't get upset. Don't be uh, angry or worried about anything. Relax. Take it easy. You know, read a book. Watch some TV. Take it easy. Don't get upset. Up. Set, U-P-S-E-T. Don't get upset. Don't be, don't be very worried and concerned about something. Relax. Don't get upset. Everything will be okay. There's no reason to get upset. Is that what you're trying to? Uh, can I say, don't get mad? Don't get mad. Yeah, oh, yeah, well, sure. You can say, oh, uh, I call you up on the phone. I say, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I won't be able to take you to the airport for your flight. Uh, something else has come up. Oh, you won't be able to Well, wait a minute. Don't get mad. Let me explain what happened. Mm -hmm. And then he said, you know, I can't go because uh, somebody got sick or something like that. And said, but don't get mad at me. I, it's not... That's something I want to do. I wanted to take it to the airport. So don't get mad. Don't get angry. Is that what you're trying to uh, say? Furious. Furious if is some, if, if someone someone is furious. That uh, is, is is extremely angry. Uh, oh. Very angry. You know, I told her I wouldn't, would not be able to take her to the airport. You what? You, you, boom, oh. And she just screamed at me and slammed the phone onto the ground. Nice. Yeah. Furious. How, how can I tell him or her? How can I tell him? To not get furious? <laughs> If, uh, uh, as to if well, you, you, are, you are furious, if you are furious, well, can I what, tell, tell you? Not to get furious? <laughs> now that, a furious is already too late. If you, in a situation like that, you would say, now, I've got some news I have to tell you, but don't get upset. Don't get upset. Don't get upset. I won't be able to take you to the airport when I have a taxi coming at uh, 2 o'clock and they'll pick you up and take you. So don't get upset. I didn't do it on purpose. I have some other special appointment that I have to keep. But I'll have a taxi come and pick you up. So don't get mad. Don't get upset. Everything will be okay. Furious is, a, is an outrage. It, it's beyond control. So if you think somebody's going to get furious because they, you're not going to pick them up take them to the airport like you said you would, you've got to tell them in advance that, whoa, take it easy now, don't get upset, don't get angry, I won't be able to pick you up, but, 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 I've got a taxi coming at 2 o'clock. So don't get upset, it's not me, it's something else. I, I, ever, heard, I ever heard that, that this word, furious, fast and furious. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, movie. Right. Fast and Furious. Fast and Furious. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you know, it, it, uh, uh, Furious is to be extremely angry. Yeah. Not just upset, a little bit, uh, 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 or, you know, mad, like, oh, I wish you had that done that. Furious is almost to, like, throw the table over, knock the chairs down, and say, you could have never done that. <laughs> That's like, it, it, you know, it's, it's, it's out of control anger. Just stuff like that. 
Any other questions about that? Self-indulgent, elaborate, upset, furious. Okay. Again, here's some words that uh, are close in spelling, but and close in pronunciation, some of them, but the meanings are totally different. So it's just a matter of what, what the idea here is to concentrate on your pronunciation so that you don't confuse words and people listening to you are, that are then confused about what you're really trying to talk about. So, lease.